friends how are you once again welcome to another refrigeration hbac red seal exam prep question prep questions multiple choice set set 44 starting with number one a duck board is used as an insulation for heating and air conditioning systems it is made of blank and thin layer of foil a rubber b fiberglass c galvanized steel d wood wood correct answer is b fiberglass number two which of the following is are raw materials in the manufacture of fiberglass a silica sand the limestone, the soda ash, the calcined alumina, or E, all of the above? Correct answer is E, all of the above. Three, duct joints should always be secured with blank sheet metal screws before seams are sealed with mastic. A number two. B number four, C number six, or D number eight. Correct answer is number eight. Sheet metal screws. Number four. Square cut or butt joints are allowed to be used on corners of duckboard sections. Is this statement a false or B true? Correct answer is A. False. Duck number five. Duck work joints, longitudinal seams, transverse seams, and connections must be securely fastened and sealed with A. Welds, B. Gaskets, C. Mastics or, or adhesives, D. Liquid sealants, E. Tapes or F. All of the above. Correct answer is F, all of the above. All of the above items are used for securing, fastening, and sealing the ductworks, ductwork joints, seams, and connections. Number six, power factor PF is a measure of energy efficiency it is the ratio of working power or active useful meaning doing work which is measured in kilowatts to the apparent power or the delivered power uh, provided by the utility company such as hydro one in canada and it's measured in a kilovolt amperes kva b kilojoule c horsepower or d volt ampere correct answer is a kva kilovolt amperes okay so in other words it is output over input power factor is output over input so the the higher percentage means the more efficient is your equipment or machine and the lower percentage or lower power fac factor means that the uh, machine or equipment is inefficient or lower in efficiency all right number seven if a motor spins at 1800 rpm at 60 hertz how many poles does the motor have a1 b2 c3 or d4 Correct answer is D4. And the solution is below. 
Working formula is RPM is equal to 120F over P, where RPM is the motor speed in revolutions per minute, or RPM. F is the frequency in hertz. P is the number of poles of the motor. So again, this is the formula. But we need to rearrange this formula in order to solve for P. So P is equal to 120F over P over RPM. P is equal to 120 times 6. So divided by 1800. So these are our given. We are given a 1800 RPM. And the uh, frequency is 60 Hertz. So 1800 RPM, 60 Hertz. We substitute those given values into the equation. So now we got P is equal to 120 times 60, which is the frequency given, divided by RPM, 1800 RPM. Uh, speed of the motor. So we got P is equal to 7200 divided by 1800 and P is 4 poles which is letter D 4 Okay, so moving on to number 8 The outdoor fan of a heat pump is off during defrost cycle a true or B false? Correct answer is A true. Number nine. Low pressure switches are installed on the compressor suction side as a protective cutout device when the refrigerant is A overcharge, B low or undercharge, C recovered or D, none of the above? Correct answer is B, low or under charge. Number 10. Oxygen and acetylene are gases used to pressurize a refrigeration system. A, true. B, false. Correct answer is B, false. Nitrogen is the most common uh, gas used to pressurize a refrigeration system. Number 11. Last question. Evaporator pressure regulating valves or EPR valves are used in the blank to prevent the evaporator pressure from falling below a predetermined amount. A. Liquid line, B. Drain line, C. Suction line, or D. Equalizer line. Correct answer is C. Suction line. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. Good luck in your uh, Red Seal review and hope, hope, hoping that you pass your Red Seal exam and gain, obtain your Red Seal license. Cheers and have a good one.